Okay, guys, this is number four in your monopoly chapter. Uh, so profit maximization and loss minimization. Uh, BYOB is a monopolist in beer production and distribution in the in imaginary con economy of Hobbes wheel. Suppose that BYOB cannot price discriminate, that is, it sells its beer to, at the same price per can to all customers. The following graph shows the marginal cost, marginal revenue, average total cost, and demand for beers in this market. All right, um, so place the black points plus symbol on the graph to indicate the profit maximizing price and quantity for BYOB. If BYOB is making profit, use the green rectangle uh, to shade the area representing its profit. On the other hand, if your BYOB is suffering loss, use the purple rectangle to shade the, in the area representing its loss. All right, so when you look at the graph over here, um, the first point looking for is where the marginal cost curve intersecting your marginal revenue curve. So this point right here, that's the first point looking for. Now from this point, you can have your quantity that's either maximizing your profit or minimizing your loss. All right, so let's pick a point over here. This is our point. Now we're gonna, uh, the question asking for profit maximizing price and quantity. So quantity is over here. Now to find the price, go up to your demand curve. So this is the price point. So from this point, get your quantity, go to your demand curve vertically, get your price for the market. So for this market, the price is $2, quantity is 1,000 cans. And then to show your profit or loss, uh, you're gonna compare your, uh, your price to your average total cost. Now, if any time a price is below average total cost, like the one we have over here, this should be the loss for the company. Every time it, if the price is above ATC curve, then you're gonna have a profit for the company. So for this company here, we do have a loss, and then your, your area for loss will be this shady area, okay? Um, all right, and the next, complete the following table to determine whether Brian is correct. Uh, so suppose that BYOB charged dollar per can. Your friend, your friend Brian says, uh, BYOB is a monopoly with market power. It should charge a higher price of two point two five dollar per can because this will increase BYOB's profit. All right. Uh, so at two dollar, our quantity is one thousand unit. Total revenue, you're gonna use your one thousand times two dollars. That'll be two thousand dollar. Your total cost. Now for total cost, you're gonna to go to your uh, your average total cost curve. So at this point over here, that's that was two point seven five. So two point seven five per each can of average total cost, and for one thousand, that should be two, yeah twenty seven fifty is probably the closest answer. All right, so our total revenue is two thousand. Our total cost is two twenty seven fifty. That means your profit should be a negative uh, 750, so we're losing money. All right, at 2.25, um, 2.25, so somewhere over here, looks like this was 0.75 of quantity, so 750. And then total revenue, um, so 750 times 2.25. This is 16875. So 16875.5. Uh, did I do that right? Let me double check. Oh, should be 750. There we go. All right. And then your total revenue. Total revenue. So if you go to 0 0.75, go all the way up. Looks like it's about this point over here, and that's about 3.25. So 3.25, that's 3.25? Yes, 3.25 is our average total cost. So 3.25 times 750. 
is uh, 2437.5. Mm, we don't have that answer. The closest is 2625. Let me double check. Uh, so go up here. 3.25 times 750, yeah. Um, what's the answer they have over here? 26.25. Let me double check. So 26.25 divided by 750. 3.5, that's 3.5. Um, oh yeah, it is, oh my bad. So it is 3.5, right? right here, that's right in the middle. So 3.5, that's, that's the average total cost. All right, and then for your profit or loss, this equals to your 2650 or 2625 minus uh, 1687.5. So your profit should be, or loss should be negative 937.5. Well, okay, so the reason why minus positive, let me redo it. You should, you're supposed to use your total revenue, 1687.5, minus the 26.25. There, that's more like it. All right, so given this early information, Brian is not correct, because at $2, your loss is smaller than if you do 225, okay? Um, suppose that the technolo technological technological innovation decreased BYOB's cost so that it, it now faces the marginal cost curve and the average total cost curve given on the following graph, specifically the technology, techno technology <laughs> innovation causes a decrease in average fixed cost. Um, thereby lowering the ATC curve and moving the marginal cost curve. All right, so we have a new graph over here. Um, you place the black points. All right, so do the same thing did before on the on the graph. Again, the first point looking for is with the marginal cost curve because of marginal revenue. So this intersection is the first point, and then from this point go to your demand curve. So this is the price. Now, if you notice on this point on the demand curve that this point is higher than the average total cost curve. That means for this company, they're making a profit. So for the profit will be just the area right, uh, right here, okay? So the area, the vertical distance between your demand curve and the average total cost curve, and then times the quantity. So that's the profit. All right, let's see if we get everything right. All right, four out of four, very good. So that's how to do number four. If you have any question, let me know, okay?